Our story today is called "A Pair of Silk Stockings." It was written by Kate Chopin. Little Mrs. Summers one day found herself the unexpected owner of fifteen dollars. It seemed to her a very large amount of money. The way it filled up her worn money holder gave her a feeling of importance that she had not enjoyed for years. The question of investment. Was one she considered carefully. For a day or two, she walked around in a dreamy state as she thought about her choices. She did not wish to act quickly and do anything she might regret. During the quiet hours of the night, she lay awake considering ideas. A dollar or two. Could be added to the price she usually paid for her daughter Janie's shoes. This would guarantee they would last a great deal longer than usual. She would buy cloth for new shirts for the boys. Her daughter Mag should have another dress, and still there would be enough left for new stockings, two pairs per child. What time that would save her in always repairing old stockings! The idea of her little family looking fresh and new for once in their lives made her restless with excitement. The neighbors sometimes talked of the better days that little Miss Summers had known before she had ever thought of being Mrs. Summers. She herself never looked back to her younger days. She had no time to think about the past. The needs of the present took all her energy. Mrs. Summers knew the value of finding things for sale at reduced prices. She could stand for hours, making her way little by little toward the desired object that was selling below cost. She could push her way if need be. But that day she was tired and a little bit weak. She had eaten a light meal. No, she thought about her day. Between getting the children fed, and the house cleaned, and preparing herself to go shopping, she had forgotten to eat at all. When she arrived at the large department store, she sat in front of an empty counter. She was trying to gather strength and courage to push through a mass of busy shoppers. She rested her hand upon the counter. She wore no gloves. She slowly grew aware that her hand had felt something very pleasant to touch. She looked down to see that her hand lay upon a pile of silk stockings. A sign nearby announced that they had been reduced in price. A young girl who stood behind the counter asked her if she wished to examine the silky leg coverings. She smiled as if she had been asked to inspect diamond jewelry with the aim of purchasing it. But she went on feeling the soft, costly items. Now she used both hands, holding the stockings up to see the light shine through them. Two red marks suddenly showed on her pale face. She looked up at the shop girl. Do you think there are any size eights and a half among these? There were a great number of stockings in her size. Mrs. Summers chose a black pair and looked at them closely. A dollar and ninety-eight cents. She said aloud, "Well, I will buy this pair." She handed the girl a five-dollar bill 
and waited for her change and the wrapped box with the stockings. What a very small box it was! It seemed lost in her worn old shopping bag. Mrs. Summers then took the elevator, which carried her to an upper floor into the ladies' rest area. In an empty corner, she replaced her cotton stockings for the new silk ones. For the first time, she seemed to be taking a rest from the tiring act of thought. She had let herself be controlled by some machine-like force that directed her actions and freed her of responsibility. How good was the touch of the silk on her skin! She felt like lying back in the soft chair and enjoying the richness of it. She did for a little while. Then she put her shoes back on and put her old stockings into her bag. 